Today we're going to talk about why do we squeak? Well, none of us likes to squeak, right? So we need to figure out why sometimes that happens. It may be something different than you might think. I think most of the time people think it's the reed or maybe the embouchure, but I think the first reason that we will sometimes squeak, especially when we're first learning to play the clarinet, is because of our hand position. Okay, when we put our fingers on the clarinet, we have to make sure that you put your pads or your fingers behind the tip, these three here behind the tip, need to go right over those tone holes, okay? So when you put your fingers down on that, you shouldn't see the ring as you look at it face on. You shouldn't see the ring here. Your finger should be over that. Not, I'm not saying it should be like over this way, but it should be covering the hole completely so that when you look at your fingers in a mirror, you can't see the rings happening, okay? That's the only way you're going to get a really good seal on the, the holes of the clarinet and then thus if you keep your fingers in the right place it'll prevent a lot of issues such as squeaking might happen okay when we put our hands too far or fingers too far over the holes like this what happens is is the back side right in here might might not be on the hole properly okay and it might be letting some air leak out in that way and that could be causing a squeak also it could be if you have your fingers too far in the hole like that you're still not closing it completely but it has to be closed completely when you're playing okay and the same thing goes with your uh, left hand too you want to make sure that you have your clarinet fingers on the proper place on the holes okay same thing use the thick part of your finger right behind the tip on the finger holes, making sure that when you're holding it, you can't see those rings on the outside. Maintaining a nice curve hand, okay? Thumb position, let's review that just for a second. Your thumb, remember, is gonna be on the back side. This is a clock. You're gonna put your thumb at one o'clock, okay? That needs to make sure that that stays covered, okay? And then your thumb, when you put your fingers down in the right place, if you bring your clarinet around, it should be about at the base of your nail. That's usually where it is. Sometimes it's in a little bit different place because the length of our thumbs and some people's thumbs are a little different than others. And so for me, it's right at the base of my nail and it fits perfectly with my hand. So it's able to keep me in a nice position like that where I'm still curved and I have all of my fingers covering like that. That's that's one of the main reasons that we have that. Um, in addition to that, with hand position, when we're playing, we wanna work on trying to keep our fingers close. When we play, if our fingers come far away like this, when we're coming down, they might not get into the right place. So when we're doing stuff, you wanna make sure that your fingers stay close and curved to the tone holes here, and that's gonna help that part of it, okay? All right, secondly would be the embouchure. When we have our embouchure, uh, it's, it's a, if you remember right, it's going to be very firm across the top, corners pulled in, and we're putting nice, good, fast air through the horn, thinking cool air, so you have like a in the air. So when we have this in our mouth, if we possibly loosen our embouchure, okay, that can cause a squeak to happen, okay? So I'm gonna play like I normally would play. Here's a C. Okay, if I loosen my embouchure, this is what happens. See how it squeaks? Because I did not have good pressure all the way around too. I actually pushed my lip a little bit into the reed too, so I didn't have good pressure at all. So it automatically squeaked when I did that. So that's one thing you wanna make sure you do. Always have a good firm embouchure. Also, make sure you have enough mouthpiece in your mouth. If I have uh, just a little bit, just at the tip, I'm not, also, I don't have the balance on there. I can't get a good top teeth pressure. My bottom lip is just very loose and it doesn't know where to go with that. So I have to make sure I slide that in a little bit more. If I have too much mouthpiece, same thing. <laughs> Definitely squeaks on that one, right? So you have to make sure that you think about your amount of mouthpiece in your mouth when you're playing. If you remember what we talked about it in a previous video, if you put a little slip of paper down you'll see when that paper stops, that shows you where your bottom lip needs to go, okay? And then the top teeth are gonna go about, if you have a patch on, about halfway down that patch, okay? Just, it's gonna vary just teensy bit with everybody, but that should be a good balance point for you to have, okay? Okay, that's where I 
have mine. Teeth about halfway down the patch, about at that line where that, that um, piece of paper would go in, right there. Okay, if I deviate from that at all, it squeaks. Okay, if I push in too far, uh, right away it squeaks. Um, so embouchure is the second big thing that you have to really make sure everything is correct. All of these things will be helped if you practice in front of a mirror. Okay, remember the mirror is your best friend. So you wanna make sure you sit in front of a mirror when you're practicing so you can keep a good look on your hand position. You can think about your embouchure. So if the squeakings happen, check those two things first. Those are the two things first, okay. Third thing could be the reed. Usually I think of the reed as the last resort for squeaking. Now, obviously, if your reed is cracked down the middle, or if it has a chip off the side, or if it's really rough and not smooth on the top, it might squeak, okay? If you don't have the reed properly put on the mouthpiece, if it's crooked, too far up, too far down, one of those things, it's probably going to cause a squeak. If it's too soft or too hard, it's probably also going to cause a squeak, okay? But first, if you're having squeaking issues, think about your hand position. If you, are you covering the tone holes properly? Are you holding the clarinet in the right position? Embouchure, secondly, are you keeping a nice firm embouchure? Okay, are you keeping these corners down? Are you keeping this upper lip firm, top teeth pressed down? Okay, do you have the right amount of mouthpiece in your mouth? Okay, all of those things make a huge difference. One last little thing I forgot to say about position is when you have your horn right here at the knee, that's where I have a good sound comes out perfectly for me. If I have it too far out, it just squeaks automatically because I don't have enough top teeth pressure. I have a lot of bottom lip pressure pushing into the reed. So that makes a huge difference too. Okay, so these are some of the things to think about. Uh, remember, use a mirror. It'll help you uh, figure out what's going on with the squeaking. And if you uh, think about those things, hand position, embouchure, reed, then you shouldn't have any problems figuring out why we're squeaking. We can solve those problems. Okay. All right. Well, I will see you the next time.